Hi everyone, it's Mrs. King Crosby, and today we will continue with our next lesson in Properties and Materials, making our first glue. Activity 1, Preparing to Make Glue. In the last lesson, you wrote a plan for making sticky glue. Today, we'll write a glue recipe and make glue with the ingredients you wrote about. Engineers go through the steps of the design cycle when they design something. Let's review how these steps apply to us as glue engineers. We'll start by learning, then planning, making, and then finally testing. We considered and evaluated evidence about our ingredients. We planned our glue based on this evidence. Now we're ready to make glue and test it. We will make, observe, and test our first glue. We'll have a chance to change the recipe based on our test results. Here are the materials we will use. It's the same materials we've used before. The only thing added are paper cups and stir sticks for mis mixing. Now, if you have a notebook at home, turn to this page. If you don't, you could just follow along with me. These are the steps that we're gonna go over together. Step one, the ingredients we choose should be the ingredients we chose from our design argument. Step two, remember, we can only use five spoonfuls. For example, we could use two spoonfuls of baking soda plus three spoons of flour, which equals five total spoonfuls. Step three, just as engineers do, we will need to measure our amounts carefully. Step four, we could use as many spoonfuls of water as we need until our glue is the right texture. Step five, we will use this page to write in the number of spoonfuls of each ingredient. So we're gonna come back to this page later when we get started making our first glue. Activity two, making our first glue. So let's read what we wrote about which ingredients will be best for making glue. In our last lesson, our claim for which ingredients would be best for making glue was flour, salt, and water. If you have this page in your notebook, go to it. Otherwise, you can follow along with me. Think about the amount of each dry ingredient we will use today. Although we decided on the best ingredients to use, we didn't get a chance to decide the amount of each ingredient. So let's think. What do you think the properties might be of a mixture with five spoonfuls of dry ingredients, but only one spoonful of water? Would that be dry or wet? that be sticky or not? What do you think the properties might be of a mixture with just one spoonful of a dry ingredient and five spoonfuls of water? Could that be dry or wet, sticky or not sticky? Let's think about what we want to use. I have a student here today. Her name is Clara. Hi everyone. And she's also my daughter and she will be making our first glue. Here is a tray of all our ingredients to make our first glue. The first dry ingredient is flour. The second is baking soda. The third is salt. And the fourth dry ingredient is cornstarch. And here I have a cup of water. And notice in each one of these cups, I have a spoon so that we don't mix it all together. And then we have an empty cup for the dry ingredients and then the amounts of water we want to put in to make our first glue. And here's the spoon we're going to use to mix it. And then finally, after we make our first glue, we're going to use our test card to put the glue down in the middle. And then we'll put our beans in the middle of that glue to see how sticky it is. So Clara is going to now conduct our first glue making experiment and she is going to choose some dry ingredients. Remember, she can only pick five spoonfuls of dry ingredients. So go ahead. Okay, I will choose three spoonfuls of flour and I'm gonna scrape it against the side so it's level. One, two, two more. two, and one last one, three. 
Um, then I'm going to choose one spoonful of baking soda. And I'm going to scoop one even spoonful. One. And I will also choose one spoonful of salt. And I will do the same thing. One. So Clara, you did three flour, one baking soda, that's four, and then one salt. It's five spoonfuls. Great. Now let's have you go ahead and put in the water for our glue mixture. Now she's only going to put one spoonful at a time and mix it really well to see if we can get that glue texture. Okay, so I'll put my first spoonful in, nice level spoonful. Okay, and now I will mix it yeah. with the mixing spoon. Mm -hmm. I'll move this over here. There we go. I see that it's not very liquidy yet. So maybe. Okay, so now I'll be putting in my third scoop. Okay. Nice and level. Okay. Go ahead and mix it up. Looks like a good consistency. All right, now let's do one more. Okay. Okay. Fill it up. Okay, so you got one last one. That's a fourth one. Let's mix that to see. Oh, wow. It is looking very thick and sticky. I think we should stop there with four spoonfuls of water. What do you think? I think so too. Now that we made our first glue, we need to test to see how sticky it is. We want to make sure that it meets our design goal of must be sticky. The test will be like the ones we did before and we'll have our test cards. So we have our test card here and we have our glue mixture that Clara made and we have our beans. So Clara, please put a quarter size amount of your glue mixture in the center of our test card. It's great. And how many beans should we test? Mm, two. Sure. So we'll put one and we'll put the second one right there. Now let's record our sticky test predictions on this page. We use flour first and we use three spoonfuls. Oh, and then we also use one spoonful of salt and then one spoonful of baking soda. And then lastly, Clara used four spoonfuls of water. And our sticky test prediction was, I think two beans will stick to the card. Let's move on to our final activity three, critical juncture, writing about glues. We'll work together to observe glue mixtures. Like Ambrose Lee in the book, engineers work in teams. Engineers share ideas and compare how well different solutions meet design goals. This helps them get ideas for improving designs. There's always more than one possible solution. As we observe and discuss our glues, let's refer to our possible glue properties on our design goals poster and our properties of glue ingredients table for words to use. What did you notice about our glue mixture? This next page is called Comparing Glue Mixtures. Turn to this page in your notebook if you have it. We can use science vocabulary to help us answer all of these questions as completely as possible. So we've used some ingredients of our first glue mixture and then we notice some properties. The first ingredient we use was flour and the properties are white and fluffy. Our next ingredient, salt, and the properties, is coarse, rough, and hard. Baking soda was our third ingredient, and the properties, soft and powdery. Finally, we mixed it with water, and the properties of water is that it's clear and runny. So what are the properties of your mixture? They're sticky, it was gooey, and thick. Well, we are wrapped up for today. We'll leave the beans on our test cards. 
here. And to come back to our sticky test predictions. Will the two beans stick to the card? Well, let's find out on our next lesson. Hope you guys had as much as fun as I did today. See you soon.